Hey everybody, welcome to Bird Tech. In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about Facebook and social media and why you shouldn't be using it. All right, welcome back. For this video, make sure you like, subscribe. The more subscribers you get, the more content we can make. Number one reason why you subscribe to this amazing YouTube channel is to get in the money-making trends before they go mainstream. If you haven't read Cal Newport's book of deep work, I highly recommend that you do it. Now, if you know Cal Newport, you'll know that he doesn't do social media at all, and he's not very old. He's like. 40-ish, and basically a lot of people in that range use Instagram, Facebook, and a bunch of other social media sites. Now, what he says is that social media is not really productive work, and I would have to agree. You're not really learning anything on social media, and because of that, it doesn't really help out your career. Instead, you should be doing something that helps out your career. Now, one of the things I used to do in the past is that I used to spend way too much time on Facebook and Twitter and all those other things, and for the most part, I haven't really found it that useful. However, I have found going onto Reddit and Twitter useful, which we'll be talking about later. But for the most part, if anything is owned by Facebook, I would recommend not using it. In fact, I stop using Facebook, and in fact, I log out of Facebook every time I'm on there, and I maybe go on there probably about 20 minutes a month. And because I do this, I my life has improved quite a bit. I don't end up wasting my time with stupid things on Facebook. So instead of going to Facebook, I do other things with my time. And maybe after using 20 minutes of Facebook a month, well, I have found that this is quite a good use of time. I'm learning something new, I'm trying to get some new skills, I'm setting some goals, etc. And this is something that's really, really good. What I highly recommend that you do is to not go on Facebook as well. So here's the news about Facebook. Facebook recently overpaid the SEC about $5 billion, and they did this to protect Mark Zuckerberg. The other thing that Facebook is doing is that people from Instagram are expected to testify on how Instagram affects teens mental health. Now I haven't even talked about Instagram, but I really don't have an Instagram account. I set one up a long time ago and I think Instagram is by far the worst social media site that you can go on. Every time I go on to Instagram, I feel dirty. Like I feel like I really have just wasted my time. So have you ever gone to the store, bought something and immediately regret your decision? Well, that's exactly what I feel when I go on to Instagram. Instagram is by far the worst site that you can go on. Now, the only reason that you would use Facebook or Instagram or Twitter is for self-promotion. And if you need to do that, then you can obviously spend some time on Instagram. But if you're not using Instagram for that, you're just scrolling through it, I would highly recommend just deleting the app, logging out, and basically never logging in again. I only log in maybe once or twice a year just to see what my friends are doing, and then I'm done. Again, I feel absolutely disgusting after I use Instagram. So one of these days, a decentralized social media platform is going to come out and replace Facebook, but until that time, I've stopped using Facebook, and again, my life has been so much better. I've been doing other things, and here's the thing about setting goals and accomplishing them. Remember that if you wanna set goals, set small goals, you don't have to set big goals. Like if setting a goal, if you're a programmer, is to not make the number one app on the App Store, is just to get an app out there. If you do that, and even if the app isn't very good, you at least did something. You were doing something instead of going onto Facebook or Instagram or whatever. And this is something that will compound over time. Now I really, now I realized this maybe when I was like 19 years old and since then I've been just putting out project after project after project and over time it does get better. The younger you are, the easier it is. But if you're, you know, older as well, you can start at any time. There are tons of people out there who have never done something before and then eventually end up into success. In fact, it's a little bit easier when you're older because you're a little bit more experienced, etc. When you're younger and trying to do all this stuff, it, you have to not only learn what you're doing, but you have to learn like the big picture around what you're doing as well. And that's actually really hard to do. So if you really want to stop using Facebook, first log out and second, use a password that's not your main password. If you use a password that's something different and you have to go look it up and you make it a really hard thing to do to log into Facebook and Instagram and all these other social media apps, I would highly recommend doing that because you want to make sure it's a chore to log in and it's easy to log out because you don't want to be spending your time there. Now let's take a look at Reddit and Twitter. Now believe it or not, I've actually followed some people on Twitter and heated 
their advice and I've actually been profiting off of that. Now, the reason for this is that if you need to be successful in a specific area, chances are there's a person in that area that is going to tweet every day and there's gonna be a bunch of people in that area that are gonna be tweeting and give you good advice. So this is what you should use Twitter for. You should use Twitter to get people that are on the ground doing whatever it is they are doing to be successful and learning from them. So I've done this over the last two years. I've followed a bunch of people in a specific area and I've heeded their advice and I'm actually quite a bit wealthier than I was in the past. And I couldn't do it without Twitter. Now, having said that, I do try to limit my Twitter use. If you find that you're bored and going onto any social media site, you should shouldn't do that. You should go and do something with your time. Remember, you can do something with your time and be more productive and eventually have better products and a better career. Now, having said all that, again, if I wasn't on Twitter, then guess what? I don't think I would be as rich as I am today because I, well, basically followed a bunch of people. Now, the other thing is that if you do follow a group of people, there's probably some people that ought for some contrary advice and they might be a little bit trollish. Now, this may sound very counterintuitive, but you might want to heed some of these trolls because sometimes there are really successful jerks out there and you sometimes just have to listen to them. It's annoying, but well, this is just what happens. So the other social media platform I use is Reddit and I go onto Reddit to get my news and I read the comments, have a discussion there and having discussion and asking questions in the Reddit comment session isn't such a bad idea. However, you do always have to double check everything that you do nowadays because Reddit is somewhat in a filter bubble of itself and you always have to do your due diligence whenever it comes to finding out the truth. So what should you use social media for? Well, you should use social media to make sure that you're learning more. If you're just mindlessly scrolling through social media, that is a terrible waste of time and I highly recommend not doing that. If you find that there's a net positive from using social media, then go ahead and do it. But generally, I don't like to do it. I tend to spend as least amount of time in social media and I do find that I get some benefits out of it. Like I said with Twitter, it does indeed work. Now the last thing you can do that I find is really helpful is just to not use social media on the weekend. Go do something. Go for a hike, a bike ride, a trip. Just don't go on to social media at all. If you are going to be in front of a screen, watch a movie or a tutorial or something else that is not on social media. Now, I think having free time away from social media is a really, really good idea. In fact, if I really could, I'd turn off my phone for the entire weekend. I think that would absolutely be amazing. But you know what? You do need your phone for modern day life if you need maps or to order something or whatever. So a lot of people on this channel probably want to get rich and retire early. And I think the best metric for retiring early is to be able to shut off your phone for a few days and have it not matter one bit. And I bet you if you were to do this even today, that you would probably be a little bit happier. Even if you shut it off for 12 hours, I think that would be really good. And that's not 12 hours while you're sleeping, just, you know, a day off of social media, a day off of your phone. I think that's a really good idea. All right, so that concludes this video. I wanna know your thoughts down below. Have you tried to give up social media? Is it very hard to quit? Let me know. Remember this channel is to do Patreon said, we sell our digital products down below. The more I get for the content that you buy below, the more content we can make. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.